So uh, what we're trying to do here is actually using DNA to configure uh, dye molecules in certain geometry to uh, maximize uh, their performance. Uh, so the performance we're after is what's called a quantum coherence. So we want um, the energy transfer between dyes uh, with the uh, preservation of the quantum coherence information. And we are using DNA as a tool for achieving that. So with DNA uh, scaffolding, we can achieve a spatial resolution down to nanometer scale. So uh, it's not possible to do that uh, using other uh, materials. And DNA is actually um, used in a lot of different applications. So uh, that makes the availability of DNA uh, uh, great. So we can uh, simply you know, buy the DNA with any sequences uh, from a lot of different manufacturers. We just simply need to type in the sequence and then just hit enter, and then uh, we re receive the DNA. And they're fairly uh, inexpensive. We do take, yes, inspiration from plants. Specifically, we are taking inspiration from a um, photosynthetic antenna in green plant or purple bacterium. So for example, in those natural photosynthetic antenna, there are pigments, so they're usually called chlorophylls. So those pigments nature uses to absorb light and funnel the excitation energy uh, to the reaction center. The nature funnels it to the reaction center using uh, principles of quantum mechanics, as some researchers believe. So we are trying to make the synthetic analogs of those natural pigments like chlorophylls advance their properties in terms of stability, in terms of functional, but pretty much we are trying to mimic natural pigments and use them in our quantum materials. So we're trying to mimic natural pigments and make them do what they're doing in photosynthetic antenna. Doing quantum research and creating those quantum materials, we will be able to create information systems that will solve some particular problems much faster and using uh, less energy. So it might be very important for, for example, medical diagnostics, when we would have to like consider like many, many scenarios or paths simultaneously. For students, it is a very unique opportunity to uh, get involved in uh, this high caliber research. I believe we are one of the groups that got into DNA nanotechnology pretty uh, early on, since uh, late 2000s. And uh, at Boise State, we have the freedom to you know, collaborate with a lot of other researchers, partly because uh, we're small, smaller than other institutions, and that uh, made it possible to assemble an awesome group of researchers.